Good morning. Today I wanted to show you how to make a social story using a storyboard that. There are other options, but I really liked this one um, because I can change the scenes and I can change the people. So um, this is a storyboard that. It's storyboardthat.com. Um, I just made a free account. It does um, limit what you can do with your free account but um, I've kind of worked around that um, because some of the, the account is like $7.99 a month, um, which is not bad, but I don't use it very often. Um, I rarely get, um, just not very often do I get requests to make a social story. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you um, how to do that. So I made this one, and this is one that I had worked with the um, Christine, thank you. Um, she had given me some suggestions for a social story for um, when we go back to school and following the rules. And um, so I just made this one particular character. He's the main character um, and just added him into the different storyboards. And then after um, I made, I made a PDF so that we can um, print it and um, hand it out if that's something we wanted or you know you can always change the format and use it however you want um but let's go back to storyboard um and we'll go to i'll show you how i did create so here's create a storyboard oh and that's the other thing too is um uh they only give you two per month um so what i have done is i just go in and edit each storyboard i don't save it um, I actually did save that one, but you don't, you can just go in and edit. So then you can change the scenery, um, but it gives you scenes. So you can say we're at school um, and we're on the bus. Uh, you can add the scene there, um, or if you're at school in the classroom here, but it gives you other options too, or other pictures um, of, oops, of uh, the different places in a classroom. So, um, a playground or outside or the cafeteria and you don't have to have a background either you can just add images and I had done that in another one um, you can add um, cells um, I think so free accounts are limited to three by one um, and three by two so that's what I've done um, I usually just only need six images anyway um, so you can pick your scenery for each one. They have characters, so you can add your characters. They have adults or teens, and then you can customize each teen or each person. So let's take this kid. We're gonna add him here. Um, you can resize him. Um, and then you can edit him. So you can say, okay, I want him to have black hair. I want him to have some brown skin. Um, and you can change the color of his eye, or red eyes. Yeah, color of his eyes, um, his pants, the shirts, his shoes. Um, and then you can take him also and you can edit his pose. So they do have different poses. He can have him sitting. You can have him angry. You can have him silly, turning his head to the side. And they also have some preset poses. So um, determined, um, confused. Um, and these are nice too to add to your social story. So if he's, you know, confused or whatever, he's on the bus, he doesn't know where to sit. Um, you can add him there. Uh, the other thing too, I, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Um, so in the layout, oh, here it is. I did the title, title and cell, and then you can add your text here. So you know, um, I uh, ride the bus to school um, or whatever, however you want to add that. And then they do have like little um, speech bubbles or thought bubbles. Um, so you can add that here. So should I sit? Um, you can move it around, make it smaller. Um, however you want to do that. But um, 
the other part that I wanted to show you too was after we get all these. So what I found out was when you um, save it and um, see you only get two storyboards oh, per week. That's not bad. Oh, this is my second and final one. Um, and I get, again, they prompt me, they keep prompting me to purchase it. Um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and save it. Oops, I didn't save it as anything, but um, so then when I get here, this is where I actually use my screen, um, my snipping tool. So I go over and I make a new snip um, and I'm going to copy it or snip it, copy it, and then I'm going to save it as um, first page. And I'm going to save it just on my desktop, I guess. And then what I did was I opened um, my slides. And I made a new one. See, I had already done the other one. Um, I'm going to take that off. And then I'm going to paste it. So once you have your, you can add, um, you know, more slides. Um, and you can add your other images or you could type in here. But the cool thing with using Google Slides um, is that you can print it as a PDF. Oh, so the other thing I forgot to mention too is that you want to come down to um, custom or page setup and you want to make it custom. And then this is where you make it by 11 by eight and a half. So then it's printable. Um, printable and then you can change or whatever you want to do with your images here um, but then you go to file and then you go to download and then this is where you make your PDF so it's pretty cool I did that with another one I did that with the social story so I copied each of the images and just pasted them into this Google Slides um, uh, presentation I had already custom sized each cell so it's a printable page and then I downloaded it as a PDF and then here's what it looks like as a PDF. So you could do whatever you wanted with this um, as far as you know presenting it or printing it, sending it home um, or you know having it for the kids. You can make it in black and white if you want them to color it. Um, but that's it. Anyway, I thought this was really useful. Um, we often need to, you know, tell our kids or, or uh, students um, what's expected of them. Um, and this is just another helpful way that we're able to customize that um, because each child is an individual and they're going to need each their story individualized. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Um, have a great week.